Hello friends, and, and, and because this is going on the YouTube, hello if you're not a friend as well. It's just a person I haven't met yet. If we haven't met, my name is Matt Wells. I'm commonly known as Shorty, and some of the coolest cats on earth, which is weird for a 30-something year old man to, to say hi, I'm Shorty, but it is what it is, it is true. It started as Short Dog when I was a teenager. I'm the kind of guy who collects people, I collect friends, and uh, a lot of the same people that I knew back then when I was a teenager are still in my life today. And anyway, the name Short Dog somehow mentioned, morphed into Shorty, and here I am 35 years old saying, hi, my name's Shorty. Anyway, hey, first of all, what do you say about this beard? If you've been watching my blog for a little while, you know I've uh, started a beard, never done one before. What is today, by the way? Oh, it, well, it just turned, oh, well, that's crazy, it's midnight now. It just turned the 30th of uh, October. Apparently there's something called No Shave November. And I, hey, look, I'm going into No Shave November strong, son. Anyway, I am making this video as part of my commitment to talk about the books that I read or make a video about the books that I read. This is a book that's very special to me. Uh, it's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. And I'm not exactly sure where the screen is, so. There it is. This is, and if you saw the last video I did on the book Prosper that I just finished a few days ago, you heard me mention this book, but this is a book that's very, very special to me. It's very dear to me. This is basically, this is my book, right? Like, uh, I wrote this book. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, T.R. Becker wrote it. But it is kind of like my book. It's, it's a book that I have that, that, that so many of the messages that I want to sing about are in this book. Yeah, it's really just a fantastic book in so many ways, but let's get into I've read this book seven times now. Wow, I am getting old. Time's going by way too fast. The point was, if I had done a review on this book each time I had read it, it would almost be as if I was doing a review on a different, on a completely different book each time, because it's that rich, and it's not very long. Man. 180, 180 something pages long. I mean, it's not a very intimidating, thick book, but it's just so packed with good stuff. I took some notes here that I wanted to touch on, so let's get into that. First time I read this book, the big thing that I got out of it was the blame game, the blame thing. First time I read this book was in October of 2007. Parts of what my life looked like in October of 2007, I, at that time I had been a self-employed real estate guy for about five years, and things had been going really well, and then they were starting to decline, and I was starting to say things like, Oh, you just can't sell a house in this market anymore. There was things in my life experience I didn't really like, but none of that was my fault, right? I was pointing to something else. It was just something else's fault. And what this book helped me do was take full accountability for everything in my life, full responsibility. And that's something that I'm really big on is taking responsibility, the ability to respond. And until or unless we take full responsibility for everything in our life, we don't have the ability to respond to the winds that blow. And as Jim Rohn says all the time, uh, you know, or Jim Rohn's passed on now, but his, his, his messages live on in his recordings and books and whatnot. But so as Jim Rohn says all the time, it's not about the winds that blow. It's about the setting of, of your sail. You know, a skilled sailor can, can point his ship in any direction he chooses, regardless of the direction of the winds that blow. It's this not about the winds that blow. It's about the setting of your sail. Uh, so it's about taking responsibility uh, for, for our life. And, until, and as long as we're unhappy with something and we're pointing the reason, that the, the story that we're telling in our mind is the reason that we're not happy with this is because of that. We're giving that our power, Right? Until we say the reason that I'm not happy is because of this or because of this, this person, uh, then, oh, okay, well, cool. Well, I have the ability. If it's, if, it's, if it's on me, if it's my fault, if it's on me, then I am the one that can change it. And that's empowering, right? So anyway, have you ever heard someone assert that a lack of money was a bit of a problem? Now hear this. A lack of money is never, ever a problem. Lack of money is merely a symptom of what's going on underneath. Lack of money is the effect, but what, but what is the root cause? It boils down to this. The only way to change your outer world is to first change your inner world. Whatever results you're getting, be they rich or poor, good or bad, positive or negative, always remember that your outer world is simply a reflection of your inner world. If things aren't going well in your outer life, it's because things aren't going well in your inner life. It's that simple. 
Okay, I like that. I highlighted this. To win the money game, the goal is to earn enough passive income to pay for your desired lifestyle. In short, you become financially free when your passive income exceeds your expenses. That just makes sense, right? And then he says here in the book, my definition of financial freedom is simple. It's the ability to live the lifestyle you desire without having to work or rely on anyone else for money. That's a nice definition for financial freedom. You don't have to work for money. You're fine. You're free from having to do that. <laughs> uh, and see, my biggest thing is I don't want to work for money. I want to work for passion, for contribution, for purpose. You know, I want to do work that feeds me. Oh, this is good. You'll like this. If you're willing to do only what's easy, life will be hard. But if you're willing to do what's hard, life will be easy. And he talks a lot about growing yourself in this book. Another thing that he talks about in this book is your financial thermostat, your mental in regards to money. And he talks about your comfort level. Think about a lot of people who win the lottery. They say a few years later, they're right back to where they were, no matter, I mean, they went through millions of dollars and they're right back to where they were financially prior to winning the lottery. How in the world is that possible? Well, it's because their financial thermostat. If they were making $30,000 a year and then they hit the lottery and they all of a sudden come into whatever million dollars. I think it's Jim Rohn who says, that if you come into a million dollars, the first thing you need to do is quickly become a millionaire. And that's got nothing to do with your bank account. Being a millionaire is a mindset. That's why it says here, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. One thing about this book, you know, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. Well, T. Harv Eker is not very good at keeping secrets because he's just he put it all right here in this book that's available for the asking. Hell, you don't even have to ask. You can just take it. Just take it. I'm taking these secrets. And I'm not any better at keeping secrets because here I am talking about some of them on the video. Real quickly, before I let you go, it is therefore up to each of us to enlighten ourselves so that we may add more light to the world. I like that, by the way. Enlighten ourselves so that we can add more light to the world. If you want the world to be a certain way, then start with you being that way. If you want the world to be a better place, start with you being better. This is why I believe it's your duty to grow yourself to your fullest potential, to create abundance and success in your life. For in doing so, you will be able, I thought it was gonna say something about for in doing so, you will become a better person in the process. Uh, Jim Rohn talks about make it a goal to become a millionaire, not for the million dollars. Make it a goal to become a millionaire for what it will force you, it will, it will stretch you, it will, it will you, you must become more in order to have more. It's a must. Even if a windfall falls in your lap, if you haven't become more, and, and I would even point, not even so much here, but here, it's, it's going to slip right through your fingers. You will return to, your outer world will return to your inner world. Here. thought that's where he was going to go with that, but back on here. For in doing so, you will be able to help others and add to the world in a positive way. I therefore ask you to share this message of consciousness and empowerment with others. That's what I'm doing here on video. So I'm playing my role by working on myself. And I've made it a goal, personal goal. I mean, I plan to be a millionaire or more. So I'm, I'm doing my part, damn it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, I therefore ask you to share this message of consciousness and empowerment with others. Get the message of this book out to as many people as possible. Commit to telling at least 100 of your friends, family, and associates about it, or consider getting it for them as a life-changing gift. All right, so I have a goal now. Probably not gonna pick up the phone and make a 100 phone call. Hey, there's a great book you need to read. What? But I will try to get 100 views on this video, and that will be my version of that. Not only will they be introduced to the powerful financial concepts, they will learn to observe the way they think, raise their consciousness, and in turn, raise the consciousness of the planet. My dream is that one book, one course, one person at a time, we can change the world for the better. I ask for your support in making this dream a reality. Thank you. And that's from T. Harv Eker. Point is, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind is a fantastic book. It's one that I really cannot recommend enough. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Here's the big thing too, man. If you're turned off by the title of the book, and oh, life isn't about money, and it's not just about money, man, listen, please read this book. <laughs> uh, you will be blessed by this book. And, and don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. If that's you, if you're turned off and you have a bad taste in your mouth about the topic, the subject matter, don't do that to yourself. Don't judge a book by its cover. This is a book that I, I, I really, I, I'm, I feel like I'm pleading with you. Please read the book. It's that valuable. It's that, it's that rich 
of a book. I really, I really, I can't recommend it highly enough and I know I've already said that. So anyway, that's the video for Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. It is a book that I highly recommend. I hope you get it. I really hope that you get it. I hope you not only read it, I hope you study it. I hope you do the exercises that are recommended in this book. It's valuable stuff. So anyway, that's that. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. This one's next. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you playing along and, you know, watching my channel, all that good stuff. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe. What's up? Uh, a lot of my videos are, are going to be stupid and pointless and have no value add at all. But some of my videos, I, I, you know, I'll be talking about cool stuff, like cool books and things like that. So if this type of stuff is of interest to you, subscribe to my YouTube channel here. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, Shorty Wells, there's a link to my Twitter. You can hit me up on Facebook as well. And uh, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> bye bye.